yo 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 what's up guys my name is Nicole Didi and welcome back to another photoshop tutorial in today's video i'm going to show you how to whiten eyes in photoshop very fast and easy using just some few adjustment layers and some minor settings kindly like this video and hit the subscribe button if you love the content that i post over here or if you find this video very useful now let's jump straight into the video and start editing all right so first off i already edited this over here as you can see over here so i'm gonna hide this one and we're gonna start everything afresh all right so first we're gonna create a new hue and saturation adjustment here so i'm gonna drag this here but so that we can see what we're doing and i'm gonna i'm gonna zoom it in a little bit so we can see the eyes clearly all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the eye we're gonna select the yellows in the eye because that's what we're gonna be changing to white because we don't want it to be yellow so we're gonna click on this finger over here like this and we're gonna bring up the eyedropper so we're gonna we're gonna select in the yellows like this in the eye and we're gonna use the range selector over here to select i know you're not seeing anything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna boost the saturation like this and we're gonna change the hue value over here like this so as you can see the eyes is looking green so meaning that side is selected i can see we can also see that the um, her skin is also selected her skin is also looking green but we shouldn't worry about that now let's just focus on the eyes for now so we're gonna drag the selector over here and then fine tune it to make sure all the whites in the eye is selected so I think this is okay for me. So we're gonna we're gonna leave it at this, and then what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drag the saturation handle to the left like this. Desaturating is very what we just did is we desaturated the whole image, the selected part. As you can see, this side is not selected. This side is not desaturated because because of the selection that we did over here. All right, so we're gonna leave the hue value at zero like this then we're gonna close it then we're gonna select an adjustment layer like this and then hold control and i to invert all right so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna select the brush tool like this and with white as the foreground color we're gonna press x to set the foreground color at white and then we're gonna paint over the eye and then make sure your opacity is at 100 your flow is at 100 as well and also make sure the layer mask is selected then now you can go ahead and then paint over the white in the eye like this so this is the first step if you paint you, you over paint and it comes into the black just press x to change the foreground color to black and then you just paint over the black but make sure it's on white and you're painting on the white so now we're going to move to the other eye and then paint on that as well like this let's move back to the other eye all right so if you finish painting we're going to move to the next step so we're going to come to the new adjustment layer and then select channel mixer yes so we're gonna go to the blend mode and then change it to screen like this as you can see the whole image is brighter it's brighter than before so what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the adjustment layer hold alt and then click on the layer mask and then drag it onto the channel mixer and this is gonna appear over here and then press or select yes so what we just did was with a layer mask over here instead of us painting over the eyes again we just duplicated the layer mask and then applied it to the channel mixer so meaning the selection that we did over here has been applied automatically to the channel mixer all right so once we finish we're gonna go back to new adjustment layer and then select black and white like this all right so when we have this you're not going to do anything over here so we're going to go back like this and it repeats the same thing we're going to copy the layer mask onto the black and white as well like this so we hold alt we select and drag the layer mask and then release it onto the black and white all right 
so once that is done we're gonna come back to the new adjustment layer and then come to levels like this so this time around we're gonna play or we're gonna drag the slider the middle slider a little bit to the left like this all right so we're gonna repeat the same thing again we're gonna hold alt select the layer mask hold drag and drop on the levels and then press ok all right so as you can see we have our eyes selected nicely and looking white all right so what we're going to do next is let's zoom it out a bit just to see how the image is looking so we're going to hold on the levels and then hold shift and then press on the hue saturation like that to select all and then hold ctrl and g to put it in a group all right so once this is done we're going to check the before and after so this is the before and this is the after let's zoom it in a little bit as you can see as we painted it's peeled over here a little bit yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to press on the new layer mask on the group like this then the brush tool then we're going to change the foreground color to black by pressing x and we're going to fine tune it we're going to paint over the parts that we don't want the whites to appear that's just like this let's fine tune it make sure everything is looking nice let me zoom out all right so this is our image let's zoom it in over here a little bit increase the size of the brush by pressing the close brackets key on the keyboard like this yes so our eyes is looking white over here let me fine tune the side as well just for it to look natural all right so when we finish as you can see the eye is looking a little bit too white so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna decrease the opacity like this just to have it looking as natural as possible we don't want our eyes looking too white or looking unnatural so like this so this is the before and this is the after so i think this is okay so you just play around with it to get your effects the way you want it and then you're just gonna accept it like that all right so if you think this settings is, is a little bit long for you and you want it to be more faster and more shorter i have an action created for you so let me put this two in a group and let me show you how the action works so i'm going to leave the link in the description below so that you can download it and then try your hands on so once you install it it's gonna appear over here something like this then this is it so we just select it and then play and it's gonna create everything for you automatically like that so all you're gonna do is you're gonna select your brush tool set the foreground to white by pressing x and making sure your opacity is at 100 your flow is at 100 zoom in a little bit and then just paint over the eye like that and there you have it yes and then you're just going to decrease the opacity just to have it looking natural so that my friends is how you whiten the eye in photoshop the fastest way possible so if you think this video helped you kindly hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video for more videos like this every week thank you so much for your time and thank you so much for watching see you in the next one